go, Saya. That's about it. <laughs> All right, so the first question is how old are you? <laughs> All right, so the next question I have for you, dear, is... That could be a long list. <laughs> <laughs> Just make the ones that are most important. Sure. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have Josiah with me. This is my husband for those of you who've probably never actually seen him on this channel. But he's finally coming on and we're going to do a fun Q&A with him. Um, but we're going to just start off with him <coughs> telling us a little bit about himself. So, introduce yourself. <laughs> um, I'm Josiah. That's about it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyway, so for those of you who did pitch in to help with this Q&A on Instagram, I have I had a story up and I asked you guys to put in your questions to him, um, anything you wanted to know about him. He is going to be on my channel more often now. We're going to be doing some marriage Q&As and some um, topics that we want to talk about like marriage and kids and maybe even um, just some things, you know, here and there, topics that we will discuss. So he'll be on here off and on, hopefully more. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first question and then we'll just go from there. So, all right, so the first question is how old are you? <laughs> 25. Yeah, he just turned 25, the 25th of September. Yep. So, anyway, um, how did you guys meet? At a 4-H meeting. Her mother started a 4-H club and they wanted the county ambassador to come out and teach him how to do 4-H demonstrations and whatnot and so that was me and met him at their house. He was um, the junior ambassador, ambassador, right? Senior? You weren't senior yet. I don't remember. Anyway, but yeah. It's a teen, amb teen ambassador, I guess, yeah. And for those of you who don't know what 4-H is, it's a, what do you actually call it? Like, Organiz professionally. Organization that... Yeah teaches kids how to do a vast majority of projects from animals to sewing, cooking, to aerospace yeah. and robotics and extracurricular activities that you might be interested in. So our families met through we that met when I was 14 and then he was almost 16 I think. Yep. Yeah, would have been almost 16. So for a year and a half apart. Anyway, so if you guys see a bunch of leaves blowing around, it kind of gets windy over here. We're outside because the kids are dapping, but it's a beautiful day, so that's good. All right, so the next question I have for you, dear, is, um, oh yeah, are you quiet and shy? Someone wanted to know. Not really. Um, no. I tend to be <laughs> quiet on occasion. He's not shy. I'm, no, I'm not really shy. I don't enjoy... <laughs> talking to lots of people but I do it's kind of weird he's not like one if of the I'm other. tired I don't want to talk to anybody and just be by myself yeah but if I have energy I enjoy talking to people discussing things he talks more than I do which actually isn't surprising because I don't talk a whole lot but most of you probably don't know that because you're not socially around me <laughs> but I don't know. he's he's not quiet or shy and honestly I've never known him to be that way at all no. he's I'm shy. He's not shy. I get nervous doing some things, but yeah, I'm usually pretty outgoing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and bold when it comes to discussions. Yes, I'm not, so it's good because it kind of balances our marriage out a little bit. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so the next one is, do you? Whoops, I forgot that. Anyway, uh, do you like to? What do you like to do for fun? Depends. I like a lot of things. I like. Riding, four-wheelers and horses, and I like reading, fictional books and non-fictional books. Um, I enjoy basketball, capture the flag, ultimate frisbee, bowling. Uh, what else? With us. <laughs> yeah, spending time with Sabrina and the kids and hanging out. I like games, board games, card games, some video games. Yeah, actually I like, plays. I like shooting, handguns, rifles. 
I like a lot of things. Um, can't think of anything else off the top of my head. Cool. I think a lot of people can resonate with a lot of those. <laughs> Actually, we we really like to do a lot of those things together. I, but some things we don't. Yeah. Like, he plays video games. No. He doesn't. <laughs> No I, thanks. <laughs> I really enjoy teaching and a little bit of preaching that I've got to do. Taught Sunday school class for 12 weeks on creation versus evolution in the first 11 chapters of Genesis. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, and I got to preach for the first time a couple Sundays ago. So Which is That was good. I enjoy helping people out too. Helping out friends and family. And, yeah. That's good stuff. All right, another question is, is it hard for you to make friends? Whoa. Uh, make friends with guys your age as a Christian? It's hard for my husband. Not really. Um, I don't always have lots of extra time to go do stuff, but God's always given us, me in particular, friends that are pretty close and mm -hmm. changes with life. You know, people move away, and we moved when we lived in Oregon a long, long time ago, like 12 years ago. Um, but yeah, so friends change sometimes, but no, that's something we've always... We've always had a lot of friends. We've always prayed for, and God's always given us good, solid friends. Mm -hmm. You definitely and, had friends, but you're not really friends with anymore, obviously. Yeah. And it's not like we ever had to... look and search out friends God just kind of <laughs> brought them along yeah different cases whether it was at church or 4-H or just happened to meet them somewhere and got to talking so no not really well and I think this this gal her husband's a young young dad who's they've been married for like two years and yeah. he's just having a hard time making like good connections and friends and I could be wrong don't, don't quote me on that. <laughs> if you want to, you can message my wife and she can give you my phone number to give to him. Actually, we know you guys, so I'll have to. Maybe we'll have you guys over. All right, anyway, so the next question is, how long have you known Sabrina for? Uh, we got to do the calculation here. <laughs> I am 23 and you met me when I was about 14. Yeah, so about nine years total but before we were engaged or anything before we started dating oh, he had known yeah. me we were friends actually for like six years or something mm -hmm. like that almost and then we started talking Five years. then we became more <laughs> all right let's see here what are some things you are passionate about mm, that could be a long list <laughs> <laughs> just make the ones that are most important <laughs> uh-huh He's very passionate. We'll just put it that way. Uh, I'm very passionate about doing things the way God says to do them. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm definitely not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I've got plenty of my own problems and things that I need to work on. But I'm very passionate about trying to do things the way that God says they should be done. Because uh, it always works out best that way. I'm very passionate about marriage and families and children very passionate about freedom because <laughs> God gives us the freedom to serve him or not serve him and so therefore that should trickle down in every aspect of life whether you know, okay. free to choose what you want to do for work or politically and, uh, don't believe anybody should be forcing you and telling you and controlling you um, what else that's kind of the main things right there I'm very passionate about the truth a very passionate man which is nice I like it Helps. but also being compassionate and gracious with people mm -hmm. like I've had friends that you know flat out told them they were wrong doesn't mean I don't love them any less or more well and you didn't yell at them no I don't yell at them or beat them upside the head just no. out of love the bible says better are the wounds of a friend than the kisses of an enemy so always share the truth but with mercy and grace and love and compassion. It's good. Yeah. Don't always do it perfect. 
Ooh, one person is perfect, right? <clears throat> All right. Uh, what do you what do you do for a living? Uh, it's changed several times, but right now I do construction. Uh, I'm starting. pick up a lot of my own side jobs, like fencing and uh, falling trees. And, uh, just, I got my independent contractor license, so I do a lot of a lot of odd jobs for myself and for other people. That's kind of what we're trying to move more towards, just more of our own job so we can make our own schedules. And be nice to have, work with him more too. Yeah, Off have on. Sabrina come work with me from time to time, and then when the kids get older, they can come and work with me and spend more time together as a family, and, and be able to have more time where we can just you know, take off a couple of days here and there just to spend time together, and, or even just help out other people when need or help out with stuff at church. Have more of a flexible work schedule and still make some decent money. It's been nice because. The first job he had when we first got married it took him all away from me a lot. And so it's nice to have him home more. Um, he has more of a like a nine to five ish. I mean, it's not really, but, but it's more like that instead of like he was doing 12 hour days and it was, it was hard. But obviously God had, had a plan in it all. All right, so um, how old were you when you got married? had just turned 21 because our anniversary is actually in a week guys yeah. um less than a week now but uh i was quite 20 yet but yeah he had just turned 21 young very young which is awesome you should get married young if if you can't obviously it's in god's timing all right oh my goodness how many siblings do you have two I got a younger sister and a younger brother my sister's about a year and nine months old, or excuse me, young, younger than me, and then another brother that's about a year and nine months younger than her. It's two. And uh, all, and both of them are married, actually. Yep. yep. His parents are, all their kids are married and out of the house. All right. Um, favorite animal? I don't know. <laughs> Dragon. That would be my favorite animal. A living, living animal. I didn't say that. I said favorite animal. So. <laughs> Favorite animal or dragons and dinosaurs? Fine, what's your favorite living animal? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> uh. Uh, just pick one. He likes lots of animals, so. Yeah, I mean, I like horses. I like dogs. Yeah. I like a lot of ranching animals. Right. Or I like pigs. Are... I don't really have a favorite animal that's currently living. He has a, he has a hated an animal he really hates, right? that sheep oh yeah i hate sheep he hates sheep for those of, for those sheep lovers sorry but sorry. he hates sheep <laughs> keep them <laughs> they're kind of, you know i'm not i'm just they're dumb and they don't even go taste on. good <laughs> yeah but sheep are just they tend to be on the dumber side which is probably why we're likened to sheep in the bible yeah. um anyway all right what did you want to be when you were little um Pretty much always a deputy. That was about pretty much it. Um, At the sheriff's or sheriff's office. Office. Yeah. Sorry, I get that confused. Yeah. Um, I was a reserve deputy for about a year and the detention officer for about another year. And uh, it's not where God wanted me. <laughs> and so it was a little disappointing. Disappointing and frustrating. But. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I always wanted to do, but that's not where God wanted me, and so it, thankfully things have turned out much nicer as far as a, a family life and uh, being able to spend time together, and then also just being able to teach and preach and study the Bible more, and just, it works out a whole lot better. God's plan is that my plan. So. Isn't that amazing how that works? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a little bit rough to come to grips with, but yeah. Okay. Uh, 
How did you propose to Sabrina? <laughs> um, we went riding at a friend's house. Um, well, we didn't. You... What? Go ahead, finish. finish. Technically, we had the stagecoach first and then we went riding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He had a... Um, yeah. Yeah, so... He friends, tricked me into going. Friends of ours built a stagecoach. And so we were doing some, uh, shooting some scenes for a movie that we were making. And so I asked Sabrina if she wanted to be in it and to uh, come to their house so she could get in the stagecoach and uh, be one of the passengers. And so she came, got in the stagecoach. Uh, they took her for a ride to a spot. Um, I think I put a card in there, didn't I? Yeah, so like I'm in there and I'm like, what the heck? I thought this was supposed to be like a movie thing. And I thought Lisa well, was going to come in with me. And was, she's, that's another friend. If she wasn't, she was just standing there. And then we get going and there's a bouquet of orange yeah, roses. Orange roses, yeah. Which he knew was my favorite. And then a card. And a card. And so then they dropped her off out of the stagecoach where I was waiting uh, on my horse and then another one for her. And then she got on. I was shaking. <laughs> we, we rode up, uh, I don't know how far exactly, maybe about a mile, a mile and a half, um, up to a nice uh, outcropping of rocks, and then uh, uh, proposed next to that big outcropping of rocks. Yeah, anyway, a little windy there for a minute, but uh, so we get to the outcropping of rocks, and then uh, I brought some sparkling cider and some chocolate covered strawberries and proposed to her while a friend was waiting. She's uh, taking pictures. Hiding, taking pictures. And, uh, well, but tell them what what I did when you proposed to me. <laughs> well, he got well, on this rock well, and he was yeah. on a, a so slant. Um, I, yeah, there was a little bit of a slant on the rock and so I proposed to her and she got all excited and then gave me a hug. And, and tripped. And tripped and knocked me over and knocked her over. So we're on the ground so, laughing, but yeah. you know. That's and he dropped funny. the ring, I think. I dropped the ring. Thankfully we found it. Yeah. Then I forgot to, uh, <laughs> I forgot to bring a bottle opener for the sparkling cider. That was so interesting. I s <laughs> smashed the bottle on the rocks and then poured it into our glass. <laughs> Probably wasn't a good idea. We didn't drink Probably the bottom the of our cups yeah. just in case. Yeah. So. But we did have a sip of yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Then yeah. found one meeting, so, and I said yes. That was kind of it. Carved our initials onto one of the trees up there. It was very special. And, uh, honestly, it was the best proposal I've ever. I would never have thought about that, but it was pretty cool. Especially the horses, you know. They kind of just put the finishing touch on everything. It was nice. All right. Last question. How did you feel about Sabrina wanting a home birth before you guys had kids? And then how do you feel about it now? So how did you feel about it before? Fine. Yeah, um, yeah. hospitals are ridiculously expensive. And uh, we ended up having to go to Judah, go to the hospital with Judah. Yeah. Um, and we weren't even there for a full day and it cost 10 grand. Yeah. And uh, He was two grand, but I was like eight. Yeah. And that was just... 12 hours at the hospital, didn't even spend the night, and it was... It was essentially for a day. Yeah, it was like right around 10 grand a little over, something like that. And, uh, yeah, the midwife is, it's like $2,100 for everything, for Which visits, visits beforehand, and actual birth, and yeah, no. You didn't have any fears about having a kid at home? Completely normal. It's been done for thousands <laughs> of years. So you still... How do you feel about it now that you've done it, you know, because Kyla was at home? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Having kids is stressful, no matter where you have them, but yeah. But yeah, no, it's nice that you're in the comfort of your own home and everything's right there. And, you know, people come over and help out if they need to and drop off meals and just, it's nice and easy and relaxing as opposed to being in a hospital and having a bunch of strangers and... Nothing's perfectly clean either. And just, yeah, it's nice being at home and in your own spot. Besides, I had a couple people ask him that, you know, is it safe? You know, aren't you worried about your kid being safe? And I think you've always just said, no, no. never worried about that once. No, like I said, it's your own germs. You can go to the hospital, but 
There's nothing unnatural about giving birth that's completely natural. We've but, been doing it, guys, since the beginning of time. Yeah. So. But yeah, no. <laughs> cool. Yeah, um, I'm glad that he feels that way because, like, I was always something I was a little nervous about because I know a lot of dads and guys, they're just not educated on birth and all that kind of stuff, and that's fine. But then again, it's not because you are... You know she's your wife you should be there for her and she's part of you so but yeah i was very glad when he was like oh yeah that sounds great <laughs> and um because i think that's one of the first things i asked you when we started dating was i want lots of kids that was another thing i want lots of kids and are you good with birth so he was like oh yeah <laughs> nope. but anyway so yeah guys that's my husband those are the questions we answered if you want to be included, and I think I mentioned this beginning in the beginning, but if you want to be included in any of these Q&As that I have on this channel, you can follow me on Instagram, and I'm on there relatively pretty much every day. So you can DM me, ask me questions, and participate when there's polls out and questions. So go ahead and follow me there if you would like. I'm also on Facebook. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you did. If you have any ideas or cool video yeah video ideas that you want us to do for you we would love to hear about them so comment below like and subscribe if you feel the need to <laughs> all right we'll see you guys in my next video bye